Sean, you know what the word safari means, don't you? Yeah, it's right. kind of like a trip that you take, and they usually refer to it as a safari to Africa or something well, like usually that. Usually, to Africa. As a matter of fact, you're going on a safari, but you're not going anywhere near Africa. You're going into a local pond and look for animals that are far more fantastic than anything you'd ever find in Africa. Oh, okay. And here are the tools that you're going to need. Start here. See that? A paintbrush? Yes. See, but when you catch a little well, animal, you can scoop them up with a paintbrush and transfer them. Oh, you're not going to paint see. the animals, obviously. Okay. okay, I understand. And a little pick. Yes. Proof. And this, when you find some animals, you can mm -hmm. put them in there. It has a nice white background so you can see them. Oh, I see. Here's one of your most useful tools, you, obviously. A magnifying glass. Yes. And that magnifies okay. 5, 10, and 15 times when you put them all together like that. Okay. Okay. That's a little medicine thing. Yes, ordinarily they do drop medicine, but yeah. you're going to use them to suck up animals. Oh, okay. And, and they're small enough to go in the, set, the end of the opening of that, too. And here's a big one. Big this one. is for basting turkeys, right? Or something right. like that. Okay. But you're going to suck up bigger animals with this one. Okay. That, you should know what Tweezers. to do with that. And this is kind of like a little butterfly net. Yes, only you're going to be catching animals that are much smaller than butterflies. Oh, okay. Then what you want to do is go to the pond and take some of the bottom and some of the plants and a lot of the water mm -hmm. and put it all in a tank like this. Oh, okay. Then let it sit for maybe a day or so, and then all of the, uh, the silt and mud will settle to the bottom, mm -hmm. and then the plants will be there, and the, and the water. So you'll have a little cross section, a little miniature pond, right like this. Oh, then you can put it and look at it very carefully with the magnifying glass, uh -huh. use all those tools to take them out, the animals as you find them, and they can put them in smaller tanks like this, and even small ones like that, and finally even little microscope slides like this, made of plastic. Oh, okay. okay. And here is what you really will use to finally see in great detail. Have you ever used a microscope? No, I haven't. Well, here, here's one that you can take home and practice. Just take a look at that. What do you see? It looks like some little grains of salt. Yes, I put some salt in there so that you could get the idea. Oh, I see. Okay. Now, you recognize this animal, I assume? Yeah, that looks like a dragonfly. Well, they fly around and they eat yeah. insects and so forth. However, you, when you find them, they'll be underwater and they'll look more like that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Real weird kind of animals Gosh, that you'll find when you go on a safari in a pond. Yeah. Well, Shan, you really have a beautiful little aquarium there. Yeah. That's really a cross-section of a pond, right? Yeah, it's neat. Where'd you get it? Well, we went to the park and we mm. found some little ponds there. Mm -hmm. And we just we looked around and we saw some fish. We caught some of them with the, little, with the net over w here. With the net, okay. Right? Yeah. We caught them, and that, those were the first things we noticed, actually, because they were swimming around, mm -hmm. and they, you know... See, they one were... of the trouble with having fish in a freshwater aquarium like this that represents a cross-section of a pond is that the fish have a tendency to eat the other little animals. Yeah. If you catch any hydra or things like that, well, they'll eat them. But that's all right. You know, that's part of the whole way life goes on. Okay, so you, uh, you caught the fish with the net and stuck them in there. What else did you find? Well, I thought I saw some caedus flies in there. I wasn't sure about it until I got them into the, into the aquarium mm -hmm. and looked at them under the microscope. Yeah, with the magnifying glass? Yeah, or the, the magnifying, or the magnifying glass. glass. Right. Yeah. Why? What, did, what did they look like? Well, they look really neat, actually. The one in here that you can see yeah. is covered itself up with twigs. Right. And some it, of them use pebbles, and there's leaves. And, and you leaves. read that that's sort of sp uh, specific for the species. Yeah. Some use pebbles, some use leaves. Yeah. They're one of my favorites, yeah. Yeah, then I see some other things swimming around, little tiny things zipping yeah, by. Some little things that are like beetles. Yeah, they're little water that live their whole life underwater, yeah. right? Yeah. Then did you use the microscope? I did actually. I sucked up a little fish and put him in one of these containers right. and looked at him. And then when I he looked really neat. He mm -hmm. had I could see the scales and mm -hmm. things. And when I put him back in, he kind of floated on the top of the water, so I didn't suck any more out because I thought I'd killed that one. Well, <laughs> you might have because you maybe squeezed him a little tight. Yeah. But uh, very often you have to sacrifice the animal if you're going to do some <laughs> uh, stuff with the The thing, I thought the microscope worked particularly well for you because it has a sort of built-in light source in that it takes the light via the uh, fiber optics and runs it up right. so you don't have to have a light source. Yeah. Then by a friend of mine, Dennis Brock. Oh, that's okay, Well, I have uh, captured some animals of uh, my own, and I think you may recognize the first one. So come on over here, and you will see an old friend. Here's my special microscope setup. Don't look at the tank. Okay. Because that's where your friend is, I think. I have a card in front of the lens here, so you can't see the image. But eventually, when I take the card away, the image will be recorded here by a television camera 
come around over here and we'll see it there on my monitor. Oh, neat. So I'll, t and then magnify it about 16 times. So here is your friend. Oh, it looks like a caddis fly. How can you tell? Well, I can see his head and his legs. Yeah, yeah see? And it looks like some little twigs on okay, his body. Well, I'll look, go like this and you can see it. See the body all full of, of twigs? It has the sort of yeah. red one there too, see? Yeah, isn't that neat? Yeah. So there's your friend, the caddis fly larva. Yeah. Now I have uh, a couple of others that I collected uh, to sort of surprise you, but oh. it's quite typical of what you might find if you went on a safari in a freshwater pond. Uh, you recognize that? Yeah, it looks like a tadpole. Yeah, it's a tadpole. But what are the little clear part along his tail? Well, I think those are veins, probably that he uses to breathe with. I'm really? not an expert at tadpoles, but uh, you take you can eat. Okay, then here's the eye. See it over there? Now yeah. see if we can get him to move. And there is he, he's got two legs. Oh yeah, I see that. There is he. So you just saw one right yeah, as he moved. Yeah, I did. Okay. Boy, that's interesting. Yeah, and those little. Uh, Things that are floating around, see those? Yeah, they're called, what are those? Um, well, they're called water fleas. Uh -huh. They're really Daphnia. And they're interesting animals that are very famous because you can see right through them when you look at them with a microscope. Oh, they're transparent. Now, here is another animal I hope you will recognize. What is it? I've never seen something like that I before. never have either. So I have no idea what it is. And that's one of the exciting things about going on a safari in a freshwater pond. You never know what you're going to run into. Yeah. The front almost looks like it's a caddis fly, doesn't it? Doesn't it, it though? Yeah. But it's got, it's got a, almost a shell on but it, it has so it a can't shell on be it. that. So I call it the mysterious monster till I can go to the library and get a book and find <laughs> out what it is. Yeah. Anyway, it's fun. Yeah, yeah I've it spent is. hours and hours going on underwater safaris in a freshwater pond.